Yay, welcome back all to another Pilf Pup Live Art Stream here on YouTube. So, we're going to be trying something a little different, a little new, a little fun today. I've been thinking about it for a while. Um, it's an art PG, is what I call it. And basically, you're going to come up with information based around, like, your own individual characters um, and places and situations. And then everybody in chat is going to, like, participate in making a character to... Be involved in that situation so like place you know mountains forests whatever in a city in a town uh, character whatever you come up with personality whatever job you know class what have you like normal RPG style and then what they'd be doing in that situation or in that place and we'll like make thumbnails and then just really bring this world to life for the heck of it you know and we'll do, we'll do this like once a week or whatever but this is the first episode of RPG so enjoy I'm gonna let some people know play some music And then we'll jump right into it. Yeah, very early. You might want to explain this one. Yeah, I know. I'm just doing a quick uh, intro to what it is. I'll do this though. Dirt PG. Hello. Yay. Alright, cool. So once once everybody's here, we'll we'll start getting really into it. But first, I'll let you guys come up with designs or like yeah, designs for your characters that are in chat already to get things rolling, to get things started. Um, so I want y'all to come up with a character class, you know, like D D status, D D rules. Um, and then I want you to come up with, uh, like, a place, you know, where, where is this going to take place at, right? Is it in a city? Is it in, um, what's it called? Is it in the forest? Where is the city at? Oh, hello. All right, so give me give me some, some ideas. And the, the characters have to be, like, real animals. You could do, like, a unicorn or a dragon if you must. Kujin. Um... But, you know, what 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 would your characters be? I would love to know. Um, so, well, I'll, I'll write that down to you. Uh, adventure can be a job. Uh, and on personality, their their personality type. That's what I want to know. Um, why why can't I make this bigger? Just let me make this a little bit bigger, please. Oh my gosh, Photoshop, you're actually garbage. I see this. Yes. And look at that. Make another one for clips. Uh, 
where what is happening. What's happening? Unbannable, this was a wee DuckTales. <laughs> Ducks, DuckTales, Tales. <laughs> Try Emma's pain. <laughs> depths of the Underworld. The Depths of the Underworld. All right, we, well, we'll put, we'll put a, and then we'll do the, the rolls. And rolls, I'm actually gonna roll to see, I don't know, I thought it would be fun to have like dice rolls, so. Rolls. One is Underworld. Two is you have to you have to depths of the underworld. Well, I need more places, guys. I need six places to roll for, at least three. Yeah, three places. Um, Floating islands. Ooh, I like that. And a canyon. That's a good one, too. That'll be fun. I like that. Canyon. I can have up to, up to six. Hades Kingdom. No, I'm kidding. Probably futuristic, futuristic city. Okay, that works. I like that setting or time setting. Uh, that's a good one. A castle. Thank you. All right. I need one more. Somebody give me one more. Hmm. Well, uh, we did Underworld, so Hades and Underworld are like very similar. And I know that, like, you meant, like, your character Hades. On my five minute pizza eating break. Taylor, quickly give me an animal, a place, uh, a job slash class, like, you know, sword fighting, whatever, and a personality. And just throw that together for your, in your five minutes. Farmland, thank you, that's a good one. Video game world. Yeah, time time setting. Uh, that's a good one. We'll do. Oops. We'll do the. Uh, what was it? It was farm, farmland. I actually farmland is my favorite. So that's that's a good one. That's one that I use a lot because I think it's just like a nice calm setting. Um, so we'll do that, and then we'll do what else? Get some lines here. So, we'll do, um, we did, we did, we're, get, we're gonna choose the, the place, uh, or, or we could just converge them all, <laughs> just make it this whole thing, it'll be floating islands in the underworld, within a canyon, in a futuristic city castle, with surrounding farmland, <laughs> oh my gosh. That's too much. We'll do primary, tertiary, uh, primary, secondary, and tertiary for all of this information. That's spinach. What? Oh gosh, Gecko helps people by giving money. Ooh, to the poor by stealing. Okay, so you're a thief. Kind-hearted. All right, lives near forest. Okay, cool, cool. Taylor, Gecko, Gecko, thief, Gecko, thief, kind slash helpful. Okay, I'll just put kind. Why, why is it kind? He's a smiley boy. Alright, so we'll do we'll do this will be on the on the side or something. I'll make this smaller. It is rifts. <laughs> it's rifts of Talaria. Talaria. Spinach. Alright, unbannable is a spinach. <laughs> no. All right, you guys also have to give me the same thing, so I want to know. Oh yeah, animal job personality. 
I want to know these things. You gotta, you gotta tell me these things in one sentence. You're a femme. Thank you. Gender. Oh yeah, and then time. Temporal. Time setting. Well, I think we, I think we'll do futuristic as a time setting because that's what you guys said. That's the only one I got, so we'll just start with this. Um, what's an animal? It has to, Louis, dragon wizard of electric, threatening. Electric wizard, rude, <laughs> rude girl. <laughs> you have to put a gender too. Dragon, uh, Louis, dragon wizard, wizard, rude girl. I'm presuming it's grill. I need more, more people. Male, oh, okay. Rude, rude boy. Okay, so I'll start while you guys, oh, dragon, dimensional traveler, carefree, oh my gosh. Dimensional, oh. Pugin, dimensional. A dragon. Planer. I'll put planer. Planer. Doesn't. Doesn't care. <laughs> no. What did I do? Oh. <laughs> I need this to not be garbage. Uh, honestly, I just need to make the text like actually just smaller. What else do we got? I have a macro that spans space. Oh my gosh! All right, see ya. I just wanna. Uh, so Kiri, it's you, you choose an animal a job slash class, uh, and then a personality trait that goes with it. Uh, floating farms lands. <laughs> oh my god. What else? What else? You can all make one. You all can all make a character. <sighs> I'm literally drawing, like, your characters. <laughs> Retail worker, <laughs> but, animal. but what animal are you? I wish you guys would choose actual animals and not just like randoms. Well, I guess Taylor did a gecko. Um, Unbannable is just a banana retail worker. All right, so we're gonna do primary, secondary, and tertiary um, for these these situations. So primary is gonna be one, secondary is gonna be two of these options. Um, and then tertiary is gonna be three. <laughs> I can count. Um, I can math. So we're gonna we're gonna roll a six-sided die for this. I mean, I do have like whatever this is. Yes. So we got one. So it is underworld, by the way. So it is gonna be primary. I'll just put I'll put one. And then, let's see, what do we get for the others? We get five, so this is gonna be secondary. And six, so this is gonna be secondary too. So the rest are gonna be three. Yeah, so that's fine. All right, cool. So now it's gonna take place in the underworld. That's, a, that's the, the main thing, is it has to be like... Actually, I'll make it, I'll make it a little bit bigger. Has to be in the underworld, so it has to be like spiky dudes, right? And then maybe what? Well, what else is in the underworld? 
also like a cave system. Are there like demons and stuff? Okay. Let's see. Thing of species. I'll get something here soon. Alright. Sleep therapist turned alchemist. Oh, sheep. Alchemist. Idealist. Hmm. Male. Okay, thank you. That's the way. Sheep. I thought I uh, I did, I guess. Sheep. Alchemist. Idealist. Are you like a philosopher? A philanthropist? A full on thrampist? <laughs> Some cave taverns. Home of Hades. <laughs> Raccoon, retail worker, agreeable. Alright. Banana. Banane. Banane is. Raccoon. Retail. I guess just like, yeah, I guess retail worker. Retail. Um, rat bard. Excitable, energetic. Okay, fair enough. And then. Come. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's your personality trait, is yes, yes. So many people, so many things happening. So we have to oops. We have to oops. Cool. Alright, cool. So it has to be underworld and then maybe like there will be floating islands in the background, right? Maybe those floating islands are like pieces of the the um whatever these things are called, I forget. They'll be like floating pieces of these things. Personality trait, yes, yes! <laughs> You're actually doing it. Yeah, that's what do you mean actually doing doing what? I mean it's too late. Um uh, it's too late, it's been done. Um, so, so it's gonna be like this, um, and then we'll have the main city somewhere, but there is a canyon, so maybe, maybe from perspective wise it has to go like this. It is futuristic as well, so. these spiky dudes over here. Um. Alright, and then we'll have, uh, let's see, city, futuristic is like kind of there, so there might be elements of it, but it's not too important, so maybe it's like an ancient, ancient technology kind of future. A uh, castle and a farmland are secondary, so this is mainly about the fact that it's in the underworld and there will be farms and a castle somewhere. Um, so maybe it's like a dark, a dark castle, right? It's like one of these things with the turrets. The turrets. The turrets. Um, whatever, whatever a castle may be in the underworld. Dark, dark Disney castle. There we go. Um, but it's also futuristic, so maybe there'll be like, lights coming off of the castle. <laughs> Hippo, oh my gosh, we got another boy. It's your boy, Given. 
Hippo, lifeguard, very, very depressed. Oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> You're just gonna be Eeyore. Even. Hippo, lifeguard. <laughs> Sad boy. Alright, um... Yeah, I guess I guess it is like Atlantis. Um, it's just Undertale. Uh, at this point, it's just Undertale. There's so many weird ideas going on, and there's no like consistency between between it. Um, I'm gonna try and see what colors works well with it. All right, you got it. Look up color palettes, Louis. Look up red color palettes. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, so there's so all this in the foreground is gonna be stuff going on uh, for the characters. I'm actually gonna get rid of all this stuff, and then it's the 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 fact that it's uh, in the underworld is gonna be displayed via the, the the these like spikes coming from the top. And maybe there'll be like some floating islands in the background. Even even the castle will be on like a floating island. Um. Um. And then we'll do like a. We'll have like a little bridge here. And then maybe another like floating island with a little bridge there, and another one with a little bridge there. And then I'll go to these spikes with the spirals that go up into the overworld. Uh, sure, maybe, we'll see. I mean, that, that'll that come from you guys. You guys get to decide if there's like lore or not. It's really just about getting that underworld, those underworld vibes. Um, <laughs> So I gotta fit all these characters into this area here. So what I'm going to do is take this thumbnail that I have here and blow it up. But because I want the I want there to be like actually a good somewhere over here, but I don't want it to be directly half, so I'm going to make it over there. And then that means this will be a little bit smaller and on that horizon line, or like just below the horizon line. Be like right there. there we go. Oops. Yeah. Be like right there. Uh... Grid time! <laughs> so I got these, and so I'm gonna number them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll go back to one. So now we're gonna roll for, for the characters that we have here to see who gets added first, who gets to be the priority character in this. Um, Hey pup, I gotta run for a bit, blah blah. How long are you gonna plan to stream? Uh, I don't know. Probably like two hours, maybe more. My suggestion is a demon knight. A demon knight with what personality trait, friend? Uh, so we'll do Benjamin Bro Brody. Broad, broad hips. Boudra. Boudroar. <laughs> uh. Evil, okay. Demon. Sure, because that's an animal. Demon, knight, knight. So I'll put like guard. Um, um, evil, evil guard. That's a that's a new one. Said nobody ever. Um, no, because like in in all these like movies about 
Oops. And then we got we got another another two. Alright? Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna roll for black armor, red skin, big uh, the design elements will come later. It's just for the, the base idea. So we got twos are priority. So it's between Louis or Rudror. Which we got a three, which is Louis, because it's like three and three. Um, so Louis's gonna be the priority character. And then we're gonna see who's who's next. Five! I got a five here. So this is uh we could break it up into three segments? Okay, so we'll do three segments. So it's gonna be an interaction between Banane and Louis. He's just done with the animal types now. I know, right? It's like this was I was supposed to use reference to actual animals. That was the whole point of this. But I'll just turn lizard or dragons into lizards and then uh, demons into like probably like a satyr or something right for consistency's sake for five we'll just make that one lower so it's gonna be kiri is a is another priority so there'll be three priorities and then the secondary characters are gonna be i guess the rest will be like secondary at this point so so get rid of this. So this is uh, this is plus. Oops, I need that. Plus. Plus. This. Oh, I forgot Taylor. Oh well, Taylor's a secondary boy now. He doesn't mind. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, I'll thank you. Alright, cool. So now we have all this shenanigans. So now we're gonna start with the characters and getting those in there. Oh my gosh, how, how am I gonna... I feel like this needs to be like even smaller, like up here. The horizon's gonna be like here. I'll make this perspective go this way for the priority of of a like direction that the piece is gonna take. I don't care about that. And then we'll do. I want most of this to take place like down here, so not here, and then in like this section here. So we'll make this a little bit bigger. Phil, can you send me the PNG of Hades so I can try and color her? Uh, I'll have to do it a little later. You think you should make the city so small in the background? I mean, it doesn't matter. It's not the priority. The underworld is the priority. Um, it's all secondary and tertiary for the situation. Make it a JPEG. I am a Pokemon theme parody. Okay, PZ91. Let's see. So, we're starting with Louie, the Dragon Wizard, Rude Boy. Oh my gosh. Let's do like a dra- Dragon or dragons? Maybe like a bearded dragon. Oh, there we go, a bearded dragon. That's what you guys get. <laughs> you chose dragon, you get bearded dragon. Uh, but what are okay? Now we need to know the situation. What is happening between these three characters? A bard, a retail worker, and. A rude boy wizard <laughs> are in a situation. A bard, retail worker, and a rude boy wizard. What is happening? So we have to decide what is happening between these characters. 
<laughs> oh no, pizza crate. Got to go. Alright, see ya, Esfose. Thanks for joining, friend. We are getting ready to approach the castle. You guys are gonna go to the castle? That's it? Well, why? Why are you heading towards the castle? What is there? Alright, so we have heading to the castle. Why? Why are you heading to the castle? <laughs> tax fraud! Oh my gosh. One, tax fraud. Two, what else? Why else are we going to the castle, friends? I have to, I have to know why y'all are heading towards the castle. So, we have, I have to make a, a thumbnail for this situation. information here for like castle and then there's gonna be like spikes that point down at the characters I'll be like spikes pointing up and then it'll be like this the canyon And then there'll be like a character. No, they're, they're like going to the castle, right? So they're like here. Dang, this is tough actually. You guys like really are making me challenge myself with this situation. That's where the return desk is located. The stuff the bard and wizard bot aren't working. Tripodal raccoon? Is that where is that where they they like have only three legs I guess? Um so So you guys are caravanning then to return some stuff. So how would So how would we tell the story of them needing to return stuff to the uh, to the castle? trying to think. So, we're heading to the camp. <laughs> <You got, laughs> I'm so sad. So, <clears throat> we need to go return something because they have, they have one of our people. Wait, so they stole your people and you're turning in broken items to get them back for parts. Okay, so you have like a cart then. We'll, we'll have this. So maybe there's. Okay, that makes this actually easier. Because I can have the canyon be blocking the, uh, the, the castle itself. And then there'll be like a. Let's say like a road, an opening right here in the canyon. Um, and then we'll do, we'll do something like this. So it's like a big road, a big road, oops. So this will actually be smaller. Yeah, something like that. And then you guys will be on this big road, like this size. A bearded dragon. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? So, Louis a, a wizard bearded dragon. <laughs> With a staff. With a robe. Oh yes, it's a thousand out of ten. 
Uh... Wait, what if this is happening in the city? The stories progress past where we're at. And then they have someone's pulling a cart, so we have Louis. Oh, because you're a retail worker, you're forced to to pull the weight of the cart. So you're <laughs> you're pulling this this big big object, right? <laughs> oh yes. It's like good stuff. Jonathan Young's great. I also really like Nate. Uh, so we'll have, we'll have these wheels on this cart. Um, we gotta move the, the bearded dragon a bit. Oops. The dragon? There's Louis. Louis' dragon. <laughs> a little bit smaller. And then we have Taylor, or not Taylor, um, Banana. The raccoon. <laughs> it's a raccoon pulling a cart. And then the wizard. And. The wizard and the. <laughs> That's your fault. A little broken nub. Um. <laughs> then we have oh yeah the the rat bar. So okay, okay. Oh, right a rat bar. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> so it has this nice swoop to the uh, to the piece, yeah. Let me see if I can get the rat bar to play. <laughs> you look more like a rat than he does. To play, okay, it'll be over here. Stand on two feet with a long tail and little guitar guitar playing shenanigans. Hi, Calyx. I have no idea what's going on, but now I, <laughs> I must smoke bomb out. Later. It's, oh, see ya, Calyx. Thanks for joining, friend. Our new stream time is when I leave for dinner. I figured I'd come by to say it at least. Calyx, you need to quickly decide on an animal, a job, class, or and a personality trait before you leave. <laughs> the council, what? <laughs> Tax rod. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is this is by your design, y'all. That was uh, some intense music. So now this is the piece that we have going on. Um, maybe I can do this image canvas size. Oops, I'll do the white. Image canvas size. I gotta make it even bigger. With we'll make it an extra 200, 20, 22, 80. For okay, well that that didn't do it at all what I wanted. This is what we have. <laughs> a bar to retail worker and a rude boy wizard. <laughs> Calyx left before he can partake in the festivities. Take care of that. This is also going to be part of this. I can make this longer. Oof. Maybe just the uh, just the frame, which actually changes the grid entirely. 
but oh well. Oops. <clears throat> well, it kind of changes the grade. It's more like... Not stretched, but it's gonna be like over here now, right there. Be like right here. That's not good at all. Grid time. doesn't really matter too much. There we go. You guys just made this the, the weirdest thing possible. There we go. Now I have more room to, to mess with on the right side. Make this really light, just so I have a, a general understanding of what's happening. <laughs> Tax fraud. Fraud. What is it? So it's gonna be. Returning broken items to claim stolen. Wait, what is it? Uh, Im imprison friend for tax fraud. That's what <laughs> that's what's happening. That's the story. <laughs> if you think anything is normal, the only normality is in normality. Um, okay, so now now it begins with a study night. So we have this like cubicle card, right? Oops, I do need this perspective. Uh, we'll say it's right here. <clears throat> That's the thesis. The thesis? Oh, it was actually like right there, so never mind. Get rid of that. I cannot. Okay, yeah, this I can. I need a cart like right here um, and then there's gonna be like a long road but there's like these spikes oh that's what I do need to do <clears throat> so we're gonna draw a general general scale general scales it is I general scales Illuminati So since it is the underworld, there's these giant pillars. Oops, I need to duplicate this. This, um, yeah, like right there. And then we'll do another one of them. Over here. Oof. Big oof. I need more like this. Change that size. Did we get another? Oops, yes. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, 
Alright, no worries. See you later, Eric here. Thanks for joining, friend. Something like that, and duplicate, yes. Make this link. This over here. I need it to, <clears throat> to not invade the space of the castle itself to break that silhouette that I have going on. So it'll be like, this will be smaller. Maybe like here. Actually, I don't want anything over there, so we'll leave it like that. So, and then maybe this this side of the the frame will have like. I'm bored this day. It's too hot. Zombie! Zombie! Create. Choose an animal, a job slash class, and a personality trait. Or an emotion. A mood. Choose a big mood, please. Can I just please get one single pyramid thing? Thank you. Copy. Cool. Be like right here, maybe? No, it'll be like upside down. Duplicate, yes. Of course, I got rid of one of them again. That's fine, though. Do this. Sometimes I just absolutely hate drawing. Other times, not so much. You'll decide. You get to decide what, what this time is currently. I think it's pretty obvious. The bus was 30 minutes late today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fox, you chose one thing, by the way, friend. That's all you did was just the one thing. This will give me a basis for like a 
big everything is. So these will go like this and like that. This will go like this. Which I put this big one here so that way it would look like they have to go on this like path around it. I guess we didn't do the canyon though. Maybe I could do the canyon on the ceiling or like this. And that's where like the light will be coming from. It's going straight up like that. Um, and then... We'll do something with those floating islands, I think. That's that's our, our setup right here. And now we have the characters. Oh my gosh, so many characters. Hello, Esfose. He's not here. The Lion King theme song is so emotional. It really is. It's a really good song. PZ91, also welcome, friend. I didn't understand the more animal and what? Animal class job. Yeah, I start, I'm trying to stream early during the, the week while I'm out of school for all of you guys. Um, Aloria, so choose a animal a class or job, you know, like RPG class, um, and then a, a personality trait that you would identify this character with. Then you can do this too, PZ, if you like. Aloria. And then we'll do... Zombie. PZ. Easy PZ. Okay, and what about... I'll just put sad boy, because you're always a sad boy. No, um, yeah. So you said fox, magician... Oh my gosh. And then... Oh yeah, and then an emotion. You can do this too peasy if you like. So far I have a lot of, to draw. <laughs> All right, so we have, I need bearded dragon. Because they decided to choose bearded dragons on me. And he's, uh, Where's a good reference? This one's pretty cute. My name is there. Wait, what? I don't know what you mean. Yeah, I just put it there right now. So right here, I was gonna have, oh yeah, the raccoon. I need a raccoon. Oh, this is, oh, this is perfect. <laughs> so I could show his three legs. <laughs> Poor raccoon. Poor tripodal raccoon. the reference material for this piece. Can't wait until Pill has to decode my character's personality from, uh, what were you? Yes, yes. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh my gosh, I drew that photo today at school. Lol. Oh, that's fun. That's why you chose Raccoon. Um, let's see. And then what was the th what was the third one? It was uh, oh Kiri, which is a rat, 
rat standing on two feet. Because that's what I need, and that's what I'm gonna get. Oh, perfect! Actually perfect. <laughs> I need a, a side reference to you. For the rat. Oh, this one's really good. Dang, I want a rat friend. That's so cute. They so smart. Aloria's already done. She doesn't even want to play this game. Alright, cool. So, now we have this fox, right? Oops, not a fox. It's, it's a rook here. Start with shapes. There we go. Pomeranian barbarian, overly sensitive, cries a lot. A forest, a dragon is attacking the village and it needs to be Well, we're already done with the story elements. That was set up in the beginning. We can't do we can't do more like I guess I could do like forest station on the crags. I don't know. I know, I was just I was just trolling. I'm sorry, Aloria. I'm sorry. Ooh. Um Right, right. Okay, so now I can do Alorius. I guess PZ doesn't want to play. Fair enough. Uh, oh heck yeah, I'm playing. <laughs> Pomeranian's a dog, right? Palmer doggo. Palmer doggo. Brabian. Brabian. Sad girl. It is a girl, right? Oh my gosh. RPG party extraordinaire. Well, I just got in and I follow the prompt. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm just being. I'm just being a troll face. I'm just being a. Huh, a huh. Something like this. That's a lot of room for not a million characters. Okay. So that's gonna be. Make it a, a little bit bigger here. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> kind of want. Can I do that? Dang, I don't know how to stage this. This is hard. I need. So if this is here, then I need. Can I have it like this? Okay, yes, I can. But I want it to be far, far enough to the side that you could tell that. It's being pulled by this tiny raccoon. Um, right here. Yes, perfect. Perfection. Like, where's armor and stuff? Brabian? <laughs> yes, it's a barbarian. I'm just being a, a dingleberry. A McSfingle dingleberry. A dingle McSfingleberry. I need a less cancerous friggin... Sure, somewhere over there. <laughs> you are being a jingle bear, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do it out of love. Mm. Wait, hold up. <laughs> Raccoon best boy. <laughs> Like right 
here. You won't see his tail much. <laughs> he needs to be further ahead <laughs> so you can see that he's got like a harness on or something but also that he has three feet oh oh the horror <laughs> this needs to be over this way maybe like here there we go we can just we can just get this to not look dang that's tough from this angle <laughs> We'll move, we'll move him back there, and then it's got a little a little nubby do here. <laughs> By photal raccoon. There we go, a little raccoon nub, and then this leg goes goes back like this. <laughs> it's gonna have a, a harness like this. It's gonna have. It's gotta have like these big ol' <laughs> big ol' ropes coming down like this. <laughs> Tax from <laughs> him, of course. <laughs> it's a broken raccoon <laughs> pulling a cart full of broken items. I need like a heap right here of just trash, of just garbage. So we need a dang. <laughs> um. Okay, so if there is a heap like right here in the cart of just like stuff that doesn't work. And then maybe the, the rat boys right here, a little bit bigger. This rat tummy. He's got their little rat arms. I'm doing a good old one of these. I need a. Oh no, it's north towards the front. Okay. So it wouldn't be here, it'd be like right here. <laughs> Rock and Raccoon step into his room. I want to find the Gideon's room. Gideon's Bible. 
<laughs> my favorite time of day. Time to intrude strangers' houses and do parkour on their decor. <laughs> what is happening? I was up the. It was at the front or at the base. Apparently, I forgot about guitars. I guess the sound would come from the front and then bounce around on the inside. Interesting. Weird. Which means that this part's just way too big. You know, this was all like perfectly designed to be just really nice. Oops. And now I'm just ruining it. I'm heckin' ruining it. It's something like that. They don't have that big of mouths. A little, little mouth like that. Yes. Yas. Well, I at least want them to look cute. Not a raccoon, I'm a rat, I guess. And then they have their necks. Something like this, I'm sure. It looks like a more more like a dog than it does a rat, honestly. It's because they're I guess their their mouth is a little bit higher. like generic called Rocky Raccoon. Oh. Who are the Beatles? I'm just kidding. You're like, I have no no time for your trolling right now. <laughs> this is this stump would have to come like over here. Something like this. Something like this. Bard, so he's gonna have his little hat right here. Maybe maybe it looks like he's taking a nap and it's, it's covering his eyes. Little little one of these hats with like the the feather. Not raccoon, rat, rat arms playing his little rat guitar. There we go. 
hangs off the side of the car. Ooh. He needs to be moved a little bit further down there, like right there. So you can see the full the full weight of this raccoon pulling this cart. Enslaved raccoon. is uh, certainly a thing. <laughs> this may this this whole writing thing may have been a mistake honestly. It's like so so difficult. But this is what I want to do. So I got to get got to get used to getting good. I wanted to challenge myself and this is what happens. I think that's the last of that song before it goes into the three hour long Secret of Mana spree. I don't want to listen to 22 minutes of... Okay, maybe I do. Yeah, just get good. Thanks. Thanks for that. Uh, oh yeah, I need the bearded dragon now. Oops. Clearly, it's going to have to be like. Yeah, it really does have to be cut off. So maybe I'm trying to figure out how to make it look like you're missing your your limb. I guess I could just not have it shown here. Like right there. <laughs> Boo <laughs> walks out. That was Joe. Hmm. Uh, and then we need the dragon wizard rude boy. <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> whipping. Louis gonna be <laughs> standing on his back. This is a this is a complex complex scene, friends. I guess their, their legs go up here and then there. <laughs> I need him to be like <laughs> whipping him. <laughs> He's a little like sad, like saddle box. <laughs> Louis so rude. How would you? <laughs> he needs to be whipping, like actually whipping him there. No, that's that's too too much complexity for like such a small area. So we'll just have Louis over here casting like rude rude boy spells with her wizard with his wizard hat.
<laughs> I don't I don't even know like how to Hmm Meh <laughs> I'm back for a wee bit. Awesome. Welcome back, friend. Thank you. I don't know. I wouldn't say this is looking good. I would say it is looking something, that's for sure. It's so funny. Hmm. And then now we need all the other characters. Another another bearded dragon over here. A plainer bearded dragon. I don't even know how you would like how they would see that you're a plainer a plainer bearded dragon. Sheep alchemist. I could do Esfose's character. Sheep. A sheep jeep. Oh my gosh. This is this is definitely Esfose right here. Blel. There we go, this is Esfose. Sign Haven, how are y'all? How are you, Sign Haven? If you want to play as well, you gotta you gotta give me an animal, a class or job, like in an RPG or in a story, um, and a uh, an emotion. Zombie never finished his; he just left. I'll just put lever for zombies. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that, Kujin. Coming out of a portal. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Just have him randomly showing up out of a portal. <laughs> Very well, thank you. How are you doing, friend? He's gonna be coming out of a portal lake over here somewhere on the side. He's gonna ambush him. Animal. Okay, wolf, of course. Mystery emo. Jaw. Okay, so no jaw. Okay, you got it, son. Ugh. PZ didn't want to play, so you're taking PZ's place. And I'm, I'm assigning you a job now, because you didn't decide. Sign. It's a wolf. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Mystery emo? Oh, he's an emo. Sign, uh... It's a wolf who... What is it? Detective. <laughs> detective. And... Emo. It's an emo detective. Oh my gosh. My life, though. This is just the saddest thing ever. I really need to figure out how I'm gonna fit all these characters into one scene. Yes, that is very, very fine. It should be in like a town or something. Um, 
Oh yeah, the sheep. We need a sheep over here. Like, maybe over here. Next to... So, like, right here. is an alchemist. He's an idealist, so you know he's like upturned, like, oh, I know everything. Oh. He's gonna have those, those potions on him. thing. Oh, Conodio. Conodio, choose an animal. A, uh... An animal, a job slash class, and a personality type. Oh, very nice, Seinhaven. That's awesome. Rocks, apparently. What do you mean, rocks? Is that a rock couch? No, it's a... It's gonna be a bunch of garbage. Like, a bunch of junk. But, here's your upturned, like, Oh, I'm the best. I know everything. I'm s for say. Mmm, yes. Mmm. Oh, there we go. Chest out. That's perfect. Need to be a little bit higher so I can show your feet maybe maybe a little bit further over here no I think it was fine having you next to the raccoon Okay, hunter. You're a hunter, so you're no longer a detective then? A wolf hunter. You got it. Okay. You're an emo hunter. Fair enough. Kono, choose an animal, a class or job, RPG-wise, and then uh, an emotion. This is honestly like running a marathon, I feel like. It's like, it's so much effort just to like do this, but I think it's, it means that it's really good practice, and so I appreciate it. There's a planner. A planar friggin' Komodo dragon over here. What are my layers here there? Cool. How are you, pup? How was rock climbing? Rock climbing was alright. That was two nights ago. Um, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm good, I think. I'm And I'm the kind of games... Wait, what? I don't get it. Kono just answer the question. Animal, class job, and... 
emotional state or personality. Apparently emotional state's a big one. Looks as looks as hot as the setting. You mean in the background? Okay, well I got my cheapy boy. His face very readable. I mean, unless you want to. Rosla is almost the optimist. She is a healer, and as a say, I, you only get one. I did the first one. Your wolf, wolf hunter emo. Just the one. I'm not gonna draw a billion characters per person. You get to come up with one you really like, and then I'll draw it. A cat thief smug. Thank you, Kona. Just dropped <coughs> Loki. If you want to join, you're allowed to. Just drop by to say what's up, jabronis. Um, let's see. It's Kona is a cat thief, another thief, and what was it? Cat thief and smug. Also smug. A couple of them smug boys. Oh my gosh, there's so many, so many people, so many characters I have to draw. Maybe I should do a second one for some of these people and not try and fit them all into one scene. Let's see. The sad barian. I got to go though. Okay, see you later. Loki doesn't want to make a character. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um. So we got these boys in here. Oof. I have an idea. So this this planer planer boy over here. You don't see the art PG right here? You don't see this? All that stuff? But Loki's leaving us, so he's not gonna play. Uh, maybe if I had them up here or something. Now it's just playing an RPG. Ooh! Bye, Loki. Alright, let's see. <laughs> uh, you choose an animal, a job or class, and then a personality trait for them. Let's see. I think we're gonna have to figure out a way to have, like, these thieves. These cat thieves, like, over here. Like, around this pillar right here. Meow. And then Gecko Boy over here is also a thief. <laughs> so you can't even see them though. I don't leave in like in the movie. Loki oh yeah, like in the movie. Loki ooh. Banane. Uh Hippo. Oh my gosh, that's right. Even's a hippo lifeguard sad boy. <laughs> How would I even... Uh... <laughs> well... 
we'll start with this for now. This will be one of many pieces. Um, this is just like, I'm trying to even think of how Cool, just like that. And tell me what to do, Kono starts choking. Sorry to say I gotta go. Are you streaming tomorrow, Pup? I will not be streaming tomorrow or Saturday. I may stream on Sunday, I probably will. But I don't stream on Fridays and Saturdays anymore. I do Sunday through Thursday as of right now. Pick one, Pitbull. Security guard. Tough boy. So, Pitbull, Guard, Tough Boy. <laughs> That's what I'm getting for you. Loki, Pitbull, Guard, Tough Boy. So you get. Sunday was time. Uh, if it's on Sunday, it'll be at like 11 or 12, honestly. Make sure it's a black one. I mean, it's gonna be whatever it, it is. Um, we'll see what happens. See ya, Kujin. Thanks for joining. Thanks for the likes, guys. I appreciate it. You feel stressed, yeah? <laughs> ah! Pilfer, remember I have 200 plus drawings to make for friends, so good luck, sign Hey Haven. See ya. <laughs> I like this so far. So we got this, and now we can do some of the some of the setting stuff right here. Gotta be like really big one right here. There we go. Just to break this. Oops. There we go. Something like that. Well, those are people's ideas. <laughs> this is his art. <laughs> Bye, sign hey haven, group hugs.
Ooh. This is like really intense. There we go. I do need these details to go like this way. There we go. There we go. So those details. bits of these things here that you guys had to have. <laughs> the floating islands. side of this on this one and then we'll come up here and have like the overside Maybe I to go like yeah that'll balance it a little bit better and then have this hanging off. There we go. Oof. Dude, Pentel has good products. What is Pentel? Pentel? Like Pen and Teller? many spikes. I think it was gonna have like a like a cavity on the top or something. It's like opening. Oops. Right here. There we go. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. This, there shouldn't be like any detail here. It's just for the sake of having those shapes. 
That's like a mistake I keep making. Do you think you're being a little ridiculous? Ridiculous! like information to put in <sighs> fair enough these are all very natural emotions to have Some of these pieces are like... Over here, maybe if I did something like this. Have them a little bit more like that. And then a little bit more like this. These spires, they make me so sad. I can't figure out how to push the scene back more. Maybe if this was smaller. Something like that, and then this could be bigger. I forgot that I was supposed to actually reference like a real place for this scene. Oh well. <laughs> Kona. Yes, it is, Loki. It is normal. <laughs> Thus is, like, humanity. Made it back. Welcome back. There you go. See, now you're getting it, Loki. If I do that, it'll be like... I'm starting to see like the actual shapes. If I can turn this into a thumbnail, it would be something like, like this. And then it would have some spikes. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you, Kona. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, that is that is what you're lacking, is faith. So... I can only show you the door. You have to walk through it, friend. And that's literally why uh, Gamer Shark, or whatever his name is, isn't on the stream anymore. It's like unhealthy personality to have around. Is that a... Yeah, I'm not gonna get into that. Ooh, I like these, like, cliff edges right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. We have this come up like that. I want to get rid of these, like, twisty spires and put more, like, realistic, uh, cavernous, like, spires like this. There we go, that sells it a little bit better. <laughs> game shark. You never had, like, oh, it's called the Game Genie. Game Genies are no, no good, friend. Oh, I guess a lot of these wouldn't actually show up here because they'd be too far up. So I can have like a really big one, like this. No, not even that. It would just be like this and then maybe some like over there, like these that go up there. There we go. Just to bring the, the perspective in a little bit better. some like details like this so we'll say from here to there from here to there from here to there but they also have to go like correctly are wrapping around this thing as if they're also oops it would be like this I think maybe like there there we go that's really good <laughs> it's so funny. I am. I am referring to religion. I'm a very religious individual. It's honestly the reason people get so depressed and caught up in like what doesn't actually matter. That's why they seek uh, validation from others. I need to draw this castle at some point. I really like this design of this castle. It's really fun. I think my lines are too thick for it though. It does need to be like super thin lined. And then this <laughs> rat, it's so fun. Okay, so now we can get rid of this. And we can take this, oops, where's my, where's my cancel? Okay, well, we'll just keep that and we'll just do this. Burp. Make it really light. I mean, it's all you. You're allowed to make your own decisions. I'm not going to question you. Pure, unadulterated evil. Mwahaha. Every time I hear this Tetris song, I always think it's like some evil villain theme. Because it almost sounds like the Nutcracker. Let's 
let's see. Yes, I could probably make these characters bigger now. <laughs> You're like, is that a giant rock? It's like, actually. <laughs> but actually, though, no. I mean, it could be, but it's gonna be like a... It's gonna be something else. It's gonna be something else, fam. Let's see. Cut. Make. Oops. Whoops. Magoops. There we go, now they take the majority of the scene. And then I'll put this character a little bit bigger and down here. Show more like perspective. Um, and then maybe like a wheel here or something. Cool. Hey, that's pretty good. I'm liking this now. Yeah, I don't think I was going to be able to fit all those characters in here. But we can have like different sets and like eat in like a similar in the similar world. We could do like three pieces maybe. Ooh. Just <laughs> do this all. Art PG. I mean, we're not going to have that conversation midstream, friend. some like little stitches on it like this this is like pretty traditional bard IMO I mean okay <laughs> well all right I think this would actually stick out like the side right here. That. There we go. It's got the little the little barred feather, but I do want two feathers. I think that'll look really fun. <laughs> to mix comic and manga style together. Heck yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, that's like the whole point of this graph, well, one of the like styles of this graphic novel is like, not this one, the one I've been working on is like taking a like comic and manga slash graphic novel and like mixing them. Cause manga is generally done in line art. Comics are done like really fast, right? Cause you want to get one out a week or however often, like once a week usually. Um, so it's really low tier, not low tier art, that sounds like really rude, but it's like quick, efficient art to get it out as as fast as possible to like keep it going and even the story has to be like once a week kind of set up, it can't have like too big of an arc. But graphic novels, however, can be done and like it's all in one piece, right? It's just one big book. So there's a style that goes along with it and you have to kind of decide on like what's important to you, uh, efficiency or, um, what's it called? Hmm. 
efficiency or like visuals like how good does it look quality over quantity whereas I feel like comics are very much just quantity like how do we get them out as fast as possible had to be like it's like a fedora almost <laughs> fair enough I mean that's all it's all you you kind of have to make your own uh, positive situations out of stuff right that's what being being a uh, growing and maturing is you're responsible for yourself and, like you can't really put that on other people you are responsible for you yes I think like the hat will get cut off right here Yeah, there we go. I'm trying to get the hat to look like round. There we go. A little bit rounder at least. have like that big like the generic kind of like rat nose that you see in cartoons I think that'll be really fun let's see his teeth incisors I love Ernest and Celestine. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's so beautiful. It's such a lovely movie. It's like one of my favorites. you want to have that you're picking with your 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 uh, index finger that's how I used to play you can do it with your thumb though a lot of people do it with their thumb but I used uh, like my fingers to pick at the strings when I played when I used to play Yas, this looks pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, like I said, if you ever want to talk about it outside of stream, I'm more than happy to. But negative situations are gonna happen everywhere in life and that's just like one thing you gotta grow to understand it doesn't define anything really <laughs> it's like the world is just gonna kind of be as it is always I 
it's not really like anyone's fault, so. What is it? Uh, you would hold. Yeah, because you want to like grip the thing. There we go. Like a real guitar. This should be turned a little bit. Yeah, just like that, baby. Yeah, baby. Hey, boo boo. Thanks for joining <laughs> to practice drawing oh drawing the human body i thought you said to practice your human body like you're working out um oh yeah the arm would be tucked in i think so this would be like this right yeah because you squeeze so the fingers go down and then this the hand goes this way Okay, so this would actually squeeze around like that. There we go. I want it to look like his arm, his shoulders, like right there. There we go. Hey, that's pretty good. Brub, bro. It's a big old, big old rat. Actually, I think rat legs go up and then down. Right. Where's my rat reference? Rat. What is rat anatomy? Rat and oops. Rat anatomy. Bones. I need a rat skeleton for my room. Ooh. Draw it from every possible angle. Angly. Angly. Oof. Cannot connect to rat skeleton. Oh my gosh, it's poor rats. I think he's tickling it. Oh my gosh, rats are weird. They're all like splindly. But they actually make a lot of sense now. <laughs> when you look at their bone structure, you're like, oh wow. is gonna go there um, and let me see so we have it goes up and then down okay there we go that's what I was looking for I guess his tail could go like down and draw and droop off. I really crave flower, <laughs> like flowers, like one, two, three, or do you mean like, like cake baking ingredients? Oh, there we go. That's what I was missing is like that loop right here. Oops, I'll have it go up like that. This composer really likes using that horn. Something like that. <laughs> I imagine the way I spelled it. I know you did, friend. Oh, I need a sheep. Sheep. So I can get their head right. Where's your head? Why, when I looked up sheep, it gave me, like, other animals instead? Where's sheep head? 
sheep face. You sheep face buffoon. You fool of a fool of a sheep. Um, let me see. Yeah, sorry. Right, now to get sheep boy. They have like this kind of nose. This is Esfose's character. Oh, I think it goes like, yeah, like this. This side will have this. nice values in there. There was nice values in there. And then we'll get these like things going up here. Little alchemy alchemy schmalchemy things like this. Oh my gosh, not Chrono Trigger. Please not Chrono Trigger. Anything but Chrono Trigger. Ooh You full feathered fool, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I forgot about that one. That one's really fun. And then there was like another harness over here. potions like here I'll do another one over here That's right, it goes like this way. Ooh! Oh, that sheep wool. That woolly mammoth. Wool coated mammoth. You fine feathered fool. Your fabulous fooled friend. Oh, fancy. Let's see. No! Kirby, why? <laughs> I think it's saying like, time to stop streaming, friend. It's saying your time is up. That's no good. Oh, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. Something like that. And then something like this. Hey, that's pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty cool. It's a smug boy. Oh, yes. 
Oh, let's see. I wanted this like alchemy smoke coming out of like these tubes on the on this character's back. All right. Well, apparently it's saying to stop streaming. So, I guess that's the end of the stream. Yeah, 2 hours and 10 minutes staying. I was going to keep going too. Oh, I should go take a break and then draw more <laughs> as I do like every day. I get some chores done. Yeah, so thanks all for joining. I hope you had a good time. Uh, there's going to be plenty more art to come of this scene and these this situation. I think it's a really good practice. It's very much like running a marathon. All these ideas and like trying to figure it out in my head. Thumbnail it. I should probably do a few more thumbnails to get a really nice setup for it. But I think this is looking pretty good. Um, but yeah, so thanks for joining. I hope you had a good time. Have a great night. Stay safe. Bye. I don't know what this is. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye.